22 days until the election, and the stakes are higher than ever. Donald Trump still within four points in a new ABC News poll, despite hours of coverage by the mainstream media of his accusers. And with more WikiLeaks email dumps unfolding, which scandal will have a bigger impact on the race? Here to weigh in, VP of Communications of Democratic Group Emily's List, Marcy Steck, and conservative contributor for TheHill.com, Kristen Tate. Thank you both for joining us early this morning. Morning. Thank you for Great having to be us. here. So let's begin with this first one. I mean, uh, in terms of the Trump accusers, the WikiLeaks scandal, uh, what do you think has had a bigger impact, and will any of one, any any of them ultimately impact the race, in your opinion? So let's start um, with Marcy. What do you think? Sure. Well, <clears throat> I think that what we've seen is that there is a a national trend line here towards a tight election. We knew from day one that this was going to be a tight election, and that hasn't changed much. Sure, we saw a poll yesterday four points down. We also saw a, a, a poll yesterday, Wall Street Journal, NBC, Hillary Clinton up 11 points. But you, you want to know what? I think that this is actually a lot closer to that four points nationally. Hmm. But the way that, this, um, that, this, that this, these um, scandals have actually borne out, as, and the, what I'm looking at is really about where women voters are. And what we know is that women voters decide election. They're 53 percent of the electorate. And I think these headlines with alleged sexual assault, we've seen headline after headline last week, raises real questions about Donald Trump's ability and fitness and moral character as whether or not we want him in the White House. I think even if you dislike Hillary Clinton, those headlines make women voters take a step back and, and, and really since, think about who this guy is. Right. And since you're speaking about the women voters, let's take a look at this poll, if we can bring it up. This was um, an NBC poll as well. This was Clinton and Trump, their support among men and women. And among women, you have Clinton with 55 percent over Trump, 35. And then with, with men, though, you have Trump up 48 percent to Clinton's 45 percent. So, Kristen, clearly, a significant difference there when you take a look at women. Yeah, absolutely. Trump does need to broaden his support against women, but uh, with women. But here's the bottom line: Hillary has to beat Trump. Trump has to beat Hillary and the media. The liberal media is coming after Trump with everything they've got. You know, over the last week, NBC, CBS, and ABC covered the allegations against Trump constantly. But all three networks only spent a combined 24 minutes covering WikiLeaks. Mm -hmm. But despite this, I mean, Trump has been pretty resilient. He's only down four points right now. So I think the big loser of the last few weeks has been the mainstream media. Yeah. I think the ordinary American is waking up to the fact that the media is so biased and many people are kind of tuning out at this point. Yeah, and speaking of that bias, if we can just pull this full screen as we go to the next topic, this was specifically asking about that Access Hollywood video and does it disqualify Trump from being president? And 53% of people say no to that, Marcy. So what does Trump need to do this week and at the final debate to win? Well, look, I think that Donald Trump owes American women a real answer about these allegations. I think that there are a lot of women who are curious about the truth here. They want to hear from him. What's the real deal? And does he have the moral character to lead? Secondly, what I think he needs to do is actually communicate a vision about the issues that matter to the American people. How is he going to help us combat ISIS? What is he going to do to help create jobs? We have seen Donald Trump make these debates, take these opportunities and make them about personalities and make them about insults, not actually about issues. Mm -hmm. This is his third and final opportunity. So I think that th there is one thing he has to do from that stage is actually communicate some of these visions. And as we head, into the, see it. As we head into the debate, Kristen, we have the breaking news coming out of Mosul this morning. And then we also have, of course, the firebombing of the GOP headquarters in North Carolina. Right. Yeah. You know, I think Trump nailed it in the last debate. He ran circles around Hillary and that really firmed up his support in his base. In the next debate, he's got to pull a rabbit out of his hat. He has to broaden his appeal to women specifically and also minorities. And the way he can do that is focusing on the issues and not making this into a squawking match about, you know, personal scandals. Mm -hmm. He's got to paint a vivid picture of how liberalism has destroyed our inner communities, how it's hurt our economy. And he's got to show voters how Hillary Clinton has really destroyed everything she's touched in government. And he can do that if he stays on the offense. He's, he can't be on the defense anymore. All right. Our very own Chris Wallace will be debating, so I know that it will certainly be the best one yet to come. <laughs> Thank you both for joining us, Marcy Stetch and Kristen Tate. Appreciate Thank you, it. Heather.